Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the show. If you've had an extended break, hopefully you've had some water, stretch your legs, done some exercises, got your, your body flowing and moving. But for now, mm -hmm. we're about to sit down and watch some CS action. Game agents versus arena bulls. And it is yes, on the sir. fiery steps of Inferno, Keith. So this is going to be a battle. We just watched an Inferno match right now. So it'll, it'll, I think it'll yep. be interesting to contrast the, the two approaches here and how these teams will approach this map specifically. Uh, Inferno seems to be super popular in EU, and I really can't blame them, Roy. Mm -hmm. It's a sick map that, honestly, it might be not as affected with the money changes as I thought it might have been at first, right? Especially now that the Galils and Famasas are cheaper, I feel like there's more options. Um, but I, th I thought it would this would have destroyed the map, but actually, I, it's still thoroughly enjoyable. Yeah, and I think this is... Probably the most enjoyable map in the map pool right now. There's just a lot of balance. A lot mm -hmm. of the weapons are actually viable on this map. And utility can be kind of worked around to some degree. But less talking, more shooting. Let's get into the action. Mel, kick this. Any predictions for this, Roy? No, I was just thinking about that. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. I'm not sure how to, how to judge this yet, just yet. Now, this is a pretty good approach from Game Agents. Speaking down mid, getting that information. Numbers are already being readjusted as opponent. Teammate trying to hold for as long as possible. That caused me, and he's been a beast to watch. And probably the player to watch right now for Game Agents. Pwn wants you to watch him for now, Roy. Sam goes down. on Arena Bulls. Get the plant. Game Engine's playing Retake A. I dig this. I wish more teams would do this. Retake A. Numbers B. Smoke for Big Pit. As Key is playing on middle site. Pillar. He's lost a teammate. Calm is just pottying everyone. Pap gets involved. Cosmin gets a kill. Can Cosmin get a second as he jumps out? Bishop. His days are numbered. Cosmin's reloading. So is Bishop. Cosmin will finally go down. Pap to Creel. We'll push and take him down. No kit needed. Defuse comes through. Clean from game agents. Wow, that was super clean. That was, a, I think it was a 5v5, right? Or 5v4 retake on the A site. I did not expect that to go so well for game agents. But I have to admit, that pressure coming in from all sides was just a little too much for Arena Bulls to handle. Now we find ourselves in a force buy scenario. Arena Bulls, they're going to run with the win with their economy. Fully upped. AKs dropped over. Double Deagles with no armor as a as a consequence. But that's not a bad price to pay considering you have three AKs with mostly full utility. Damn. Gonna be able to get one here, Roy. Can he get that gun? He can. Rough. Able to find Flip and Game Agents. They are running thin now. The last three players are towards A. Arena Bulls may be considering that they've hard rotated over with Key getting this kill. Just gonna try to fight mid and Palm. Two big kills for him. They're gonna keep peeking him. They're gonna keep peeking him, Roy. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the doing that is. They had an open passage towards the big site. Now they're in a tough spot. Oh, they get doubled no. up by Pwn. Easily overlooked. That's the bomb. But he's, he has to try to figure out where Key is. Now, he seems to be pivoting, but unfortunately, he chooses the wrong one. And that's why you don't stand in a sandwich position, Keith, when you don't know where the enemy is. And it is Arena Bulls to claim the round after all, but man, was that sloppy from Arena Bulls. Yeah, I mean, they got both kills on B site. Just take the site. At most, you find one extra player to the rotator there, but delaying the round only exposes you for more errors, really. It opened up game engines to actually be competitive this round, right? Mm hmm. Gave him a chance. Flip. Playing on the edge of this Molly. Should be able to get this kill instead. Just tags up Bishop. Significant damage done. And Arena Bulls. I hope that's not a testament to how their decision making is going to be throughout the game, Roy. They're typically a team that when they make a decision, they go with it. So I don't want to see any overthinking. Overthinking happens all too often in CS, Roy. Yeah, I think Buddha would agree as well. Overthinking is the root of all evil. Mm. But right now, Buddha is not here to save these players from their mistakes. So it's going to be a rough monster to find the open palm. 
Now, this has game agents guessing Keith. They don't know whether they should be B or A. They're scavenging, they're scattering, and they're not quite sure where to go with their numbers. Now, I think they're going to solidify and sit down on the B side with these two players. Even Pwn is starting to make his way slowly over. So, there is a chance for, for game agents, but they're gonna, really going to have to hit. Well, no shots connected yet for game agents. Rough hits a beautiful shot towards mid. And it's all on Pwn. 1v5. Honestly, doable, considering everyone's one shotable with a deagle. Not even headshots, Roy. Really. Yeah, I was just about Couple to kills say. here. Like, he he's not I'm okay. He may he could win if not get even one more kill out of it. He is giggling. Because he has a smoke kit, Roy. Yeah. That's a big deal. That is actually a really big deal. Here's a player oh. behind him. That's a Gilio picked up. That's another yep. player. Now he exposes himself out. Now there's only a 1v2. It's definitely doable for Pwn. But I don't think he ha he's privy to the same information that we have, unfortunately. He doesn't know they're this wounded. But man, was that close and expensive for Arena Bulls. That was supposed to be a five-player surviving round. And they have only two. Wow. Sets game agents up beautifully for the counter punch. But sadly, Roy, they are broke. No moolah. No go. Arena Bulls did try to call a tech pause, but they forgot that you have to do it through the menu, so. They're still rolling. Game agents get the one gun out of it. They wish they had a full buy, and it would have been a beautiful time to have that full buy, but. What they've done is they've set Arena Bulls up. They've taken one buy round away from Arena Bulls, so they can be proud. The problem is beginning to trespass here in enemy territory. Fortunately, unfortunately, is well, he's not been spotted, but they're just completely yin ganged across the map, which has given them a, a, a false sense of confidence on stacking this B site. But there's no one there. All the players are on towards the A side. They're already in brackets. They're already in arches. They're starting to flood through. And I think with this amount of control that they have exerted towards arches, this is virtually impossible for game agents. Unless they find key and go say damn here quickly. That might be the only winning element. Key one, key two. I know he's key 13, so I have a lot of counting to get there, but this will be Arena Bulls round. I respect the hunt. Pawn, only good for one. Palm would love to sneak a gun out of this, but don't see it happening, Roy. Man, I am like. Wake up, Keith. I need to cut yawning out of my diet. Oh. Uh, does he get out though? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, not bad. Two casualties. Could have been better. Could have been worse. Game ages now. Their economy has recovered. And Keith, you don't need to cut anything out of your diet. Okay, you're beautiful just the way you are. But if you could cut off yawning, please teach me the, tr the trick because I need that in my life. This is an alright round for game agents, actually. Papa kill downgrades to the FAMAS for that extra utility. They have a kit for a phone. They have the, they have the working experience here for a potential success, but I can't help but feel like they need to make a stand here. Otherwise, this could become extremely problematic, and Arena Bulls might just bully their way into that huge lead here early on. They've walked all the way up to the point where the SG is posted on CP. That's a scary sp I don't know what Flip's up to. I, uh, I'm i a little confused in that one, Roy. I'll be honest. I'll be blunt. Cosmin drops the smoke, but Dirt's going to try to execute in on him. Cosmin with one. If he can get two, it'd be a miracle. In the meantime, his teammates are dying on rotation. And that's going to be it. And I think that might just be the round. I think it was impossible for that player to see just exactly how much damage he did. I, I think if they had that information, they had that concrete knowledge of how the players were, they actually would have maybe attempted this, but I'm not quite sure he realized because he spammed most of these players in collateral through the smoke, so it's not quite clear for them, I don't think. But yeah, I think they're already posturing for the save. Papa Kale's going towards arches. Excuse me, towards alternative not arches. And Palm is not too far behind. But Arena Bulls, they're starting to get far ahead here. 4-1 already. 
economy not looking too sexy for game agents. So it's going to have to take a break. Well, nibbles on four, right? Built up a bit of cushing. It'll be good for a couple buys. They're sitting pretty. Game agent's gonna have to take some pistols here. I'm gonna have to hang on, see what they can do with this. Two saved guns. And in game agent story, do they have to be more decisive, you think? What's the fix for them here? And it looks like they're on buying. They're all in on families. I mean, I like this. That's I what the, the down. That's what the drop in prices. Yeah, exactly. It's to get functional buys, really. But this triple nade sack from Marina Bulls is pretty savage. Unfortunately, it does not quite work out for them. But you know, you asked me what they could do. I think a key element would be not to peek things that you don't really need to peek. Like flip last round, you got the information. Okay, someone's there. Smoke it off, man. You don't have to fight that. You don't have to re peek at that. Same thing with cause mean right now. The smoke is there, but come on, the boost is pretty obvious. Right? yourself and that your teammate hasn't taken contact there's virtually no reason you should be jiggling that corner you see small little errors that arena bulls will just keep capitalizing on now they're just gonna walk up towards b roy May Roy. Those nades will come in. Smoke towards Coffin. Molly towards Dark. Flashes over through the smoke that come. Palm drops a Molly. Can he spray down a couple? He's lost his teammate. He's spraying down two. Maybe a third. No, he'll go down to the smoke from Bishop. A man advantage for Arena Pulls. It was messy. It was rocky. It was a boxing match in the championship rounds. But now they've pulled it back like a true champ. And it is just. Pop kill, and he is gonna have to back on out, Roy. Damn, I don't think he hears your advice though. He's gonna go straight forward, but this offense is a little tough to handle. A little rough. Arena Bulls, they're starting to pull ahead. Now the economy here for game agents is in full moss range. Not sure they're gonna take the bite. I think they should just take it easy right here. Just slow down, get some pistols. Utility increase your chances. Maybe you can pick up five smokes, run the Charlotte's five smoke setup. But now they're not quite going to go for that. But I think the op, I think the op will be the difference maker here for game agents. Arena Bulls are playing pretty slow in some ways, but I think there will be a lot of opportunities for them to find these opening kills if they, if they find those scope weapons. But for now, it is go say damn. You can now flip, making it once again an advantage for Arena Bulls. Palm in the open, palm under the ground. Urban. Able to get a second Roy, and it's looking very manageable now. Cause means rotating over. It's going to be 6 1. Arena Bulls off to a super, super hot start. May I say, I'm kind of disappointed. I haven't seen any of the new Halo stickers on any of the guns, Roy. By the way, it's like my two worlds are colliding. My midlife crisis game of Counter Strike and my young childhood game, which might be the best game ever made, the Halo series, come together. It's kind of like a dream. Yeah, that's. that's so unexpected. I did not expect that at all. It, it's not something that I thought I thought I would see in this. Yep. In this world, but hey, I'm here for it. I think the Halo demographic would be an interesting one to have in our game, and I think Halo could benefit from the CS demographic as well. I, what I wouldn't do, Roy, for a competitive Halo Three scene on PC when they the games re-release. Re you know, I was thinking last night that. I, I think low-key, secretly, the PC scene for Halo is just going to quietly make its way up. Yep, and I can't wait. I'll be there every step of the way, and I hope you'll join me, Roy, because, man, it's going to be nostalgia. Oh, well, for now. Also, also, fun tip, all the Vima Roma signs on Inferno um, is the map creator of Inferno. Really? Yep, I watched that in a Did You Know video, and uh, I learned. I did not know that. Where where can one find one of these signs? B C T. Okay. Oh, Via Roma. I see it. 
There's a Vino one on A as well, like a graffiti in middle. There's a something else. I think that's his family crest or something. Yeah, no, he put a lot of Vino stuff. I like that. Now, what I do like as well is Arena Bulls. They're getting ready for that hall explode. Player out in mid, three players out in hall. Flashbang's probably going to come in through the chimney. And they're going to look for that split on the A site. The only problem is four defenders are here for game agents. Oof, that counter utility is rough, Keith. That clock is really running down. 20 seconds. They need to make a move, Roy. And then get out. Pone on the site. Bishop's got an entry. They need to trade out. Pone, they do. Can they plant, though? He has to stick it. He comes through. He gets that kill. Can't get the second. It's all on damn. He's got the AWP. He has 41 HP. He's stuck default. Looking for this one shot. A missed shot from Palm. The nade is going to land on his teammate. And that molly holds them back. They're coming through. Cosmine pushes. Another missed shot from Dam. He should go down. He finally will. Okay. Deep breaths. <sighs> these rounds feel so grindy for game agents. Like, they have to work so hard for these scenarios, even though they're playing the early and mid perfectly, at least in that round. But the only thing I kind of dislike about that is that it, you're game agents, right? You held your utility until the last 25 seconds. You just used the molly. You just used your smokes. Perfect time. You have them held down. You're forcing their hand to come through the smokes in lane, right? Why aren't they holding it? Why aren't they in positions to fight these awkward entries, right? Like, why play the expected angles on site or, or in pit? They just don't expect it. Oh, well, he's so bloody. He's got it. He's not even dirty. He's now it's all flipped. He's naded down to 50 HP, so he's going to have to play a little bit more passive. And he's calling for rotations. Look at the numbers instantly shifting here for game agents. A little bit of damage comes on in. Cosmine's here. He's going to flash to take a fight towards top car. Flip's going to peek. Only one player is blind. Sturbin was playing anti. Beautifully handled by Arena Bulls. That's how that should go every time. Whoop! And a third from Sturbin Roy. He picks up the op. Man, look at the fourth! This dude is just not missing. It's a one man wrecking crew. It's a bull in a china shop, and his name's Sturbin. Jesus. It's almost looking grim for game agents, Keith. Uh they just can't put themselves in a winning scenario. And even the last one, the last round was a completely winning scenario. They had four on a site. They had the proper smokes, proper molly to the perfect time. And even then, that felt grindy. Maybe they're outmatched here, Keith. I'm not sure. At least it feels like it. Okay, oh, we're gonna hold on to that for Moss. Moss bonus is not quite max. It's at 2,900 right now. Uh, I'm not sure that. Do they take it here? I don't think so. Oh, yep, yeah, they go for it. Damn, they're really going for it. Definitely going for it, Roy. They're chasing it. Three players towards Banana Key. No damage taking these nades. Good for one. Game agents. They need to hold control, though, for this investment. Papakel. Flick with the fami in the meantime towards Halls. Arena Bulls are a man down. Spray through the smoke. They'll bridge it right back. And Palm's going to be kicking himself for that. He can't afford plays like that to occur. But look at the damage given Arena Bulls. It's it's so manageable now for game agents. And this push from Pwn. Oh, oh. Will it work out? I think it just might. Depends really how he plays it. Is, is he going to get into their faces? Is he going to wait patiently for this? 
Cosmin starting to advance on the flank as well. Flash of trash timing. This is Pwn's time to strike, right? They're distracted. Now it's time to go. Pwn finds Bishop. It's all down to Gose Dam. Has the bomb on his side. Eliminated Cosmin on the flank. But Pwn will not let him go. He knows that if he crosses that corner, that round becomes winnable. So he'll end it right there, right then. And Game Agents finally a sign of life here. Perhaps. What's that, Roy? No, I was just gonna say, this is something different now from Game Agent. Sending three players to fight Banana. They know that Arena Bulls mm -hmm. are gonna hold on to this one. Right. They have Palm there with the off. They could always leave him there after they take full Banana Control. But they haven't quite gotten that control, right? They've gotten Banana yeah. Control, but not the full one. Not Logs, not bottom corner. Oh, Papkiel. He's been going for that one-way smoke and hold all the time, Roy. He's been getting one for one normally with it. As Pwn takes a dink for a dink. That sounds really weird if you say it three times fast, Roy, but I'm happy we all know what I mean. As Arena Bulls look to regroup, perhaps head towards brackets. I like how they're treating the SG like an op. Throw it to the player with less health. In theory, he'll post up on the tighter angle of that scope. But Arena Bulls look like they want to do a bit of a wrap towards A, where a porch hit... That Molly will force Durbin back. I don't know if he'll take a tick. He won't. Arena Bulls without a pick. Doing this is risky, Roy. This is getting a little weird, isn't it? Game agents. Two players wounded. Key's already in CT spawn. He's not out. Oh, he's not hearing that man. Just stopping around, Key. Must have been the team comms flooding the channel, but now it's Pwn and Papakeo both wounded inside the pit. That could be an easy problem for them, and it's Durbin. Oh, both of them. Cos being able to find two, almost buying them a ticket out of that one, but he gets them instantly traded out, and Flip is just too far away. Fammy in hand, and so are his chances. Well, Flip, I'd like to see if he can do this, Roy, but I'm uh, I'm a bit of a realist and only an optimist when it suits myself. So, if I'm be honest, I don't know if he can really do this. Ten seconds, just hit the clock now. Going for an exit, going for one of those upgraded guns. Bishop's going to get in the pit. No damage taken. He was going to try to catch them as they crossed. They'll all live, and he's the one that dies. That is a fail fish. Yeah, what is what is going on here, Keith? This is this is so sloppy from Game Agents. Uh, Arena Bulls are running away with this one. Now they have the full weapons. They have a free round right here up against pistols. All these set up armors. I mean, uh, the ninth round of the board. We talk about this game kind of shifting to a 50-50, right? But this looks so one-sided. Oh. oh. Palm somehow wins that battle. He picks up an SG second battle. Unfortunately, Ruff will not let that one go. Key finds another one as well. And now the, the defense is split. Two towards Halls are looking to re -aggress. The head has been spotted and the head has been hit by Pwn instead. Now the three remaining picks will be the Bulls will be pushed forward onto the soul. And that should be an easy sight. Bomb gets planted. CT control is taken. And these two players probably just hold on to these two precious weapons. It's not on the board, Keith. That's uh, that's kind of a daunting number, isn't it? If your team side is able to get nine rounds. And there's definitely room for double digits. Like, that is really terrifying to me if you, if you are in game agents. Um, they've made some mistakes here and there, and it's cost them. Arena Bulls capitalize every time. Ooh. And they lose one of those guns. That sucks. That's pretty much... Full utility set, 
dropped almost. Yeah, those two weapons were actually a bonus gun round if had gaming just be able to hold on to those. But now they don't have that quite that bonus gun round. Yeah, this, this is this is I, I definitely agree and Red State I mean this is definitely looking very one sided now. First of all, gaming just haven't really found a successful way to take mana yet, at least from Arena Bull. The damage exchanges have been pretty equal. Now, for the first time, they find the opening kill with the double mate stack towards Log, but that flashbang now allows both of them to advance forward, and he might just be able to pierce through this crossbow. There. Well, they're trying. Rough, though, brings it back, Roy. Game agents, a two. For three isn't bad. In the meantime, Serban gets that 1v1 on B. On A, excuse me. Gets traded out. As Pwn's coming towards mid, does Ruff? No, Ruff has gone up. Loses that fight, Game Agents. Brawly for Marina Bulls, and they lose those fights. Finally, something goes Game Agents' way, Roy. Was that an aggression what they needed? Well, successful aggression. Right, and that's been the, the big talking point, right? Is find that find that way to break through the the, the banana, the, the offense, I guess I should call it, for Arena Bulls. They're, they're doing a great job just smoking off the bottom banana every time they get Molly. That's kind of almost scaring aim, game agents off. They're not comfortable taking those battles. They're them off and the flashbangs are coming out. Yeah, that was definitely the, the key element there for game agents, winning the banana fights. Now, they've tried the banana battles. It worked. Just, they're not doing it again. They're back to what they were doing before. That what wasn't working. Pop a kill, getting risky in halls. He repeats this. He's gonna get caught off. Oh, okay. Well, all quiet on the Western Front for now. Key jiggles out Palm. Oh, and Palm just gives up his life. Beyond, I'm going to be straight with you, Roy. Don't know how that bolt from Key connected. Didn't seem like it should have. And Game Agents, though, get the two kills towards Bracket. So it's fairly traded. And Bishop has that plan to report. Head to right. Maybe more. Two for Bishop. Gets that Molly to Big Pit. He had no ammo left. Sturban has to come out and trade this. He must. He's got to find a way out, and he's just going to back up. But if anyone can crack this open again, it's key. But he is he's so wounded for it now. 25 HP remaining. That might be a problematic. So we'll just peek out and eliminate key. Now Sturban is in a one versus two. Only 15 seconds left on the clock. If he has any chance, he has to just sprint up lane. And now the advantage is all in favor of game agents. They just need to patiently wait for the defending. There it is. Okay, so maybe there is a sixth round here available for game agents after all. Maybe no double digits for arena bulls. They definitely put them in an uncomfortable scenario for the closing round. Triple pistols, full utility, yes, but only an SG and an AK to fight back. And three players early for game agents to work an end. Straight, a wonderful one deal. That's kind of rough. Flip, struggling to stabilize his right there for a second, but hey. Got just one more. Now he gets out alive. The man advantage for game eight. Oh. oh, maybe not. <laughs> no escaping key, man. This guy is zoned in. Oh, look at he's look at Pone. What? They're walking though. Does he know, Roy? Does he? Ch oh. Does he check mid? Oh. oh, oh, oh! Double take, double take. We'll get the bomb carrier. Molly's on it. Bishop gets the bomb and gets through. He knows Pwn escaped back into Maxi. At least he can assume that. Oh, he just cleared Maxi. Oh, that's awkward. He He's now running up banana. And the player rotated off B. Oh. That was a big fight. He needed to win that unfortunate. Bishop, 1v3, doable. But as soon as he tries to plant this bomb, he's going to be swarmed. He needs a final 1v1. Yeah, the problem is the flank's coming in too. Now, Pwn is giving away that flank. One. He can claim that one because he can instantly off the contact, getting him to just, just kind of disrupt his crosshair and his mouse movements there. Perfectly played there from game agents in the final round and even final few rounds, getting three in a row at the end for that nine to six finish. This is this is more reasonable, Keith.
Definitely better in the realm of possibility now, isn't it? Alright, let's see what Arena Bulls got. Of course, here on the CT. They played a pretty good CT. They played a pretty good offense. Now they're on defense. It seems like Game Agents are wasting no time for the full sprint on towards the site. He is... Their faces. <laughs> Bomb is dropped. They need to get that for the bomb plant. Four players towards the B site. Already on the flank. One player coming in from CT spawn. This is this is about to get really bloody. Yeah, Flip gets tagged up. They're going to try to fight this arch player. But there's three players coming in from mid. Bishop, good for one. Reloading. There's the second. It's Durbin finds Palm. And it's just Papakiel. He's in pit, Roy. I think he's accepted his fate nearly. But gun up, kid. Gun up, champ. He can maybe get a 1v1. There's one bullet. Can he find a second? Player above him. Nice headshot angle for him. There's the second. Third. Not going to be. Damn, shuts him down. Definitely doable. He doubted himself, Roy. Never doubt yourself. Hey, having a little doubt is all right. But as long as you can pick it up and clutch out, right? Almost there. Two kills. The bomb been planted in a more favorable scenario or position even. Maybe that, maybe that ends different. But for now, it is Arena Bulls claiming an important round. However... That bomb plant for game agents is gonna go a long way. AK Galil Mac 10 for Psalm, or excuse me, Palm. Palm is a different player in a different game. I meant Palm. This is a solid buy for game agents. No one without armor. The utility is pretty good. They have enough smokes for the full B exec. Or if they want to take brackets, that's an option as well. And Arena Bulls are taking a serious gamble here on this on this B site. Drop the molly behind him. Flip has to push forward. Gets dropped. Arena pulls. The three-man swarm. Able to claim two kills. They smoke off Palm. They collect that Galil. And they back on out. Arena pulls. High risk. High reward, Roy. They don't lose a single player. Yeah, I'm not even sure what game images are supposed to even do here. I, I think the time to strike is like right now. Maybe even 10 seconds ago because now their numbers have readjusted. Black Bank. Rough gets caught off. These two players are not pushed into sight. Arch in the split. It's available for game agents. Will they play this? How will they play this out though? Are they going to make any mistakes here on the split timing? Both kills. That's huge. Wow, Roy. This might just fall apart yet. There's a big opportunity here. What is going to happen? That's mean in the pit. Blew up the ready. He tags up. Damn. And Arena Bulls are just going to save. It started so well. And then just both A players just <sighs> don't work together. And it all falls apart. I would have liked to see Arena Bulls just be a little bit more passive afterwards, though. Like. Really no reason to pop flash into bracket there in that in that context. You know, you really need it. You already know they're not B, right? Like, you've taken that, you won the battles. Uh, if they are going to regroup B, it'll take at least, you know, 10, 20 more seconds. But why pop arches? You already have a two-man advantage. You're 6 HP. I mean, what are the chances you're going to win a battle with 6 health? Flashbang or not? Now that mistake is cost them, Keith. It... It's the double eco potential here, really. It's the Galil and the Famas left. M double MP9s that certainly help things. Now it's a fully equipped game agent. Well, they lose the chip damage early, I'll tell you that much, Roy. Damn and rough. Take a significant amount of damage. 39.58. They're doing a double boiler setup. And Cosmin can shut this down himself. There's one. The second beat comes in. Sturban only gets the one. Good trades, but Arena Pulse kept three doors B a bit too long again. Now, important duel here between Flip and Ghost Sage. The other two players are flanking. They're already in mid. They're already starting to take Hall's control. Oh, they just yin yang. Ghost Sage damn goes through. Do you expect Flip? I think Flip. Heard Ghost again, but he's, they're already regrouping towards bracket. I think they're just backing out. Well, they certainly fooled us, Keith. They, they certainly fooled us. That's what I call a, a caster bamboozle. 
I feel bamboozled. But I respect the save. Pretty much have to do it. Get two AKs out of it. Uh, Marina Bulls. I feel like gamer agents know that, you know what, fighting Savannah is not useless, but there's going to be three players there. Let's just get brackets for response. Let's worry about middle. Uh, win a couple fights. The next thing you know, we have a site, and that's that. It's over. Um, Arena Bulls, I like to see them switch it up. Maybe fight for brackets now. Throw similar nades set towards B, right? Fake them out. I respect the pause. Talk about it. Talk about it. Oh, they're going to go for the Nova buy. Okay. Probably the worst shotgun in the game. Yeah, maybe not worse than the sawed off. What is? What's worse than sawed off? Nova. You think so? I don't know. It's definitely. Maybe the sawed off is worse. I don't know. It's definitely it's high for how bad of a shotguns these weapons are. But the X7 mm. is actually surprisingly has crazy range. I think the XM is underutilized. So I think we're having some problems. I don't think this is tactical at this point. I will use this time to drink some water. And I would like to remind everybody in here right now to drink more water. You can never drink too much water. Unless you're swallowing like two. I think the limit is like two liters within 30 seconds or something. Is that the limit? I think everyone should aim for a gallon, though. Isn't that the typical rule of thumb? How much is a gallon? Like a gallon. Uh, 3.6 liters? 3.8? Something like that. In a day. Yeah. Sounds reasonable. I try to do a minimum. Yeah, 3.7. 3.7. Okay, okay. So I'll call it four, 4 liters a day. Okay. Sounds reasonable. I like to go for a minimum of 2 liters a day. What's your maximum? There, there's no, there's no such thing as a maximum for me. The more I drink, yeah, the better uh, I feel. But uh, you can drink too much, though, Roy. Did you know that? I did know this. Yes. You can literally drown yourself by drinking too much water. Which is, it's not, it shouldn't be funny, but it's like some like that. Some people don't know that. Actually, one of the most common deaths of uh, the party drug ecstasy is people drinking too much water. There you go. They feel thirsty, so they just keep chugging water, and they actually just end up hurting themselves. Who would have guessed? Yeah, it's, it's actually a crazy phenomenon, but... Now, the ecstasy is here for these boys in this game, because one of these teams is about to swing it. Potentially. Game agents. This could be their, this could be their break. Or they could just get one tap through the smoke and lose the man advantage. Or that. bit of damage as Papiel taking a little risky peek towards Halls Roy. If he can get one and live, that would be perfect considering game agents are down a man. And with that must come the giving up of banana and taking of brackets. With Papiel being smoked off, they're slowly gonna creep up, but look who's in the cubby. It's damn, and they haven't checked for him. And will they? He'll peek! Dink and one! Can he get two? UMP is built for that kind of fight. And with a repeat coming in from Ruff, he'll peek with him. And this is game agents getting gamed on. This was their break. This was supposed to be where things turned around. But now they just find themselves in the same trap. They're overwhelmed by Arena Bulls now. That's a ticket to a bomb plant. You'll take that. Okay. Slowing down a little bit. The more he delays this, the, the harder this is to get a bomb plant. Maybe the god does bleed after all. He made a, made a mistake finally, Keith. Uh -oh. That's a firing squad right there. There's no chance for him to survive, especially not when he gets spotted out. And it is Arena Bulls to claim a pretty convincing round. A little bit more safe there from Keith. That bomb plant would have been denied. Maybe even an extra life there as well. But 
most important thing here for Arena Bulls is the lead. A solidified lead. Three rounds advantage. Good set of weaponry getting it coming into this. Four AKs and an op key. This is... Change the colors around. I'm convinced that's a T side. Yeah. I would 100% agree. A lot of pressure on game agents this round though, right? The ops in play for damn. I don't think we've seen this. This is the first time. Correct me if I'm wrong, but... I don't feel too stupid in saying that. Those game agents with that Mac 10 drop down in utility. Still the very expensive... Someone's is, is a hardcore SG player on their team. If you're willing to commit that amount of money when you don't have that much money. You know, it's kind of a gun now where it's, you buy it when you have excess. So I'm, sur I'm, I'm surprised to see it now. It's okay if you... I, I feel like it's alright if your team is, is good to go with utility and they have more than enough smokes so if I'm attacking Molotovs, that could be problematic pwn that's a, <laughs> a ballsy repeat no doubt with that max 10. now they own brackets but it's only 50 seconds left on this clock they can linger here for 15 20 more seconds but decision here a commitment needs to be made the bomb is still down in alt mid that needs to be picked up by someone <laughs> starting to enter ct spot and destroys rough that's the b rotator they might have an idea now that there's only a single player left on the b site they're starting to fall back they know they jump and shot on the papkiel and boiler a second cause mean tags up but he escapes can they find damn back of the site looking trying to look like stewie and he hits the flick up. Can he get one more with 14 seconds? He can. Dam is locking it down. He's still alive and dancing. He'll fall, but with seven seconds, he should have done enough. There's no way of pumping out of this. Tap down and Rebel get 12. And Game Engine's cash goes plummeting. They have their own recession. Wow. That was so, so, so well played by Gose Dam. I cannot give him enough credit for that. Somehow out of that impossible scenario. Misses the opening shot. Position compromise. Still finds two kills. Buys enough team for the rotates. And that's one way to steal a round away from Game Agents. That was so sick. Game Agents made the perfect calls. They, they killed the B rotator. They instantly fell back. They knew they had a 4v1 on site. But didn't penetrate the defenses. Single-handedly shutting them down that was so sick now arena bulls have an even further solidified lead forcing game agents his hand into this force by which they weren't really forced to take but opted to do it anyway. Or a Glock, Roy. Not sure how we got the short end of that thing. Gonna try to make it work. He gets one. He's a little out in the open. His teammate, those wings, rough. Not uh -oh. a single kill. It's all falling apart. It's all on damn again. And he's re-peeking. That's a scary thought. They now have guns to work with, Roy. And armor. Arena Bulls. I don't know if I agree with those uh, first oranges uh, position. We're swinging into that one. It's all on the retake, Roy. Okay. That's a huge kill from Sturban through the smoke. Now it's Papa Kale and Flip trying to hold this one back. Flip's up close. Papa Kale on the high ground. Now Flip's going to walk straight into that smoke. As soon as it fades, he might find an unpleasant surprise. When the boost comes off, that eliminates Papa Kale. That means Flip has lost all of his support systems, and it's all Sturban. Three kills. And Arena Bulls avoid disaster. And you're, you're absolutely right. That was super sloppy on the defenses there for Arena Bulls. They almost gave that away on the on the B site, but luckily the retakes on it from A on point. But that ball plan, that helps so much for game agents. Now they have weapons when what should have been a non-buy round. Not the best purchases. Three Galils, a Mac 10, but enough utility to make this round work and still the potential not quite a double reset, but still a reset available. But that could at least help with the, the big deficit now. Might help bounce it back. Flip and Co. Gonna get apartments control. Roy. Arena Bulls pull that third player off of Banana. As Poe looks to poke and prod. Flashes key off a half fall. And they're rotating everyone around. 
They've uh, gotten into a pattern of breaking game agents and are forcing them to brackets and halls, which allows them to leave one player banana spot for info. So, Arena Bulls have kind of played game agents right into their hand. They're going to commit fully? Yeah, they are. That's rough. You have to at least push off banana before you go for this, but they've done something similar before. Molly's going to push off Zerg and Crossfire. It could be at least. Shut down for now. He's gonna come flying through the air. Both by one already. Bishop is trying to salvage the round. And he almost does. But he only good for three. And it still leaves an advantage here for game agents. The bomb gets planted. The post button here might be rough for Key. He doesn't have any utility, but he has a kit. Kill. Sees him. Takes some shots. He is down to 64. Looking for that 1v1. Caught in a pit. Will swing Roy and he gets it. Arena Bulls held off at 13. Game agents one away from double. What a run from Cosme where his team needs him. 19 kills but oddly relatively quiet for the most part. He needed a big round. He breaks through with one round. There's a sign of life after all. 96 ADR for key. Not too bad. Highest flashes on the team. Almost highest for utility damage. I mean, what can't this man do? Jesus. 50% headshot. That's quite a high headshot ratio. I, I'm assuming that's quite accurate. I remember there was a day when they weren't, but uh, I think we've hit the point where they're very accurate, Roy. Yeah, I, I think I would agree. There was a, there was definitely a point where I was like, I was like, do I trust this? Like, I, yeah, they I were really don't so wrong. Yeah. I think it counted every headshot as a headshot percent. But I think headshot oh. percentage is, is the amount of kills you get with a headshot, if I'm not mistaken. Is it? I, I I don't know. See, I thought it was bullet accuracy. So if you like shoot thirty, like if you shoot thirty, like it it averages you out throughout the round. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I, I don't. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm probably wrong. It probably kills by headshot. You're probably that takes more than He just I don't know if you saw that, Roy. Disgusting. And the buy from Arena Bulls, the the Nova is just godlike. I have learned this from the, the new weekly challenges. Flip is alone, Roy. And they have bomb. And that's one way to get 14. That's all I'm saying. That's one way to do it. You gotta love that call from Marina Bulls, though. An extended break. Straight into a rush down mid. I love it. Just throw off the pace. Throw off the timing. Throw everything off. No mojo for game agents. Now it's just flip. Uh, I don't even know if this is even possible. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't think so, Roy. Imagine coming around this corner. Like, what you're going to see. Chilling and waiting. He I got the one. There for a second, to be honest. If he gets the bottom totem and then you're like, uh-oh. Like, there was, yeah. Yeah, now it's 15 for Arena Bulls. Game agents are probably contemplating buying, but they can really only afford pistols, give up 15, and then it's the grind. It looks like they don't even want to do that. Some of them did, some of them don't. This is... Dear Arena Bulls, you're so comfortable right now. You have game agents exactly where you want them. In moments of desperation, not it's going to be the poor spy. Nade landing on top of Papa Kale. They don't have much key. They take brackets. That's most of their smokes used up. They want to execute somewhere. That's all their smokes used up. They have two flashes left. That means really arena bulls could just post up on angles. And unless those flashes are extremely effective, they'll just be he shut down right then and there. But for now, game agents are playing again into arena bulls' hands. They have full banana controller, eyes on banana, not quite the full control. And they have the, the rotator in a fast rotate to support a site. So if this is a definitive A hit, 
shut down. But now Bishop walks into the stack. That is unfortunate. There's no pressure B. There's no reason to, to advance a single inch here. Don't say damn cannot win this battle. That's a huge kill. Now the B split is initiated. There's only one defender against this. That's key. Wow. They can split this now, Roy. They're going to clear him. They see his gun and he gets headshotted. How does this round fall apart from Arena Bulls, Roy? What happened? What, what do you think the big failure point was? Yeah, I'm going to have to say the person who pushed lane. Bomb has been planted. That's... Wow. That really hurts. Uh, Arena Bulls are in the perfect positions, right? They have eyes on Banana. They have two players that could fight the arch split if, it, if it's coming, but unfortunately they get isolated somehow as well. It was really tough. It, what was supposed to be a, a breakthrough, a, the breaking point really for Rena Bulls is now a problem, I would say. Now they don't have any money really. Bishop's down to 1500, 1600 for Ruff, 6, 1850 for Sturban. Uh, pretty much a double reset really. There'll be pistols passed across the board. He says, screw it, I'm buying armor since we're probably going to double eco anyway. And now, gives, this gives game agents a fighting chance, I feel, right? They have a second second win. I'd like to think so. This should give, the, give them a pretty big opportunity. They need to keep, I'd say, three to four players alive here. Bolster that economy. Give yourself a big fighting chance. Cool. Getting three rounds in a row is going to be hard. Two of those are going to be rifle rounds, right? So you need to give yourself the biggest possible chance. Oh. And giving kills up to like that to keep with bomb bottom T stairs. Unfortunately, gives Arena Bulls a chance to work a man around now. They still have three towards B because game agents have been ending on B and Ecos. Or against Ecos for the most part. But I'm entertained, Roy. I, I I agree. I'm entertained as well. I'm just scratching my beard trying to figure out if, if this is actually ending into the A commit or if they're end up going to falling back into the stack on B. Bishop going to Arches. Spots one player. Now Serving spots the others on lane. That's going to pop them to push them behind. Serving gets one kill. If Bishop finds another, this round could crumble easily here for game agent. Um... It's looking like it could crumble. Cause mean does have a smoke flash. No kit on Arena Bulls. They're gonna double up in halls, Roy. Ooh, this can get spooky. They're creeping up. And they're gonna go now. Cosmine doesn't he help him. Flip's got both. Cosmine's got the last. Held beautifully. But Arena Bulls have done the damage. The Arena Bulls win this. Game agents are going to be in a weird position where one player will have cash. The rest will have a little bit. Just keep in mind, they're going to be hard to reset back down to 1,400. Yeah, well, what, what, is, what is up with these buys right now from Arena Bulls? This should have been a buy, right? I mean, it, I guess it could have been if they really wanted to stretch their economy, but I, yeah. mean, I feel like this should have been a... More of a save, like don't more even of spend. a full eco. Okay, yeah, yeah, agreed, agreed. Get, get the weapons, get the artillery that you want. Why keep reducing your chances? Like you have three players with armor. Just, I get that you're confident because these rounds have been really close, but come on, you're, you have to play the percentage game. You can't really be results oriented like that. But okay, that's a good start to the round for Arena Bulls once again. They've done a great job in early rounds on on these types of rounds. I'll give them that. Bishop on site with a CZ. Shoots one bullet, taps away one. Nice shot in on Cosmine. Again, another chance. They have an AK. They have key with armor. Papkiel about to be calls. Catches key off guard. There goes that armor. The AK on rough. They want to get saved, but Papkiel is peeking it a bit more. And damn, let's get it back up. Ruff might just want to push this. His P grab, grabs the Deagle. And he's going to be going for one more. And he won't get anything. So a little 12 for game agents. Arena Bulls save an AK. Not in the woods yet as Arena Bulls. No, but these, these three players alive with the bomb explosion here will certainly help things.
know that the terrorists get more money if they win the round by the bomb exploding? By like three or more bucks or something, right? Yeah. Pretty funky. A lot of money. All right, here we go. This is the round that we're waiting for, right? The op comes out for Ghost Dam. He's been an absolute beast with it so far throughout this league. Now he's looking to hold back against game agents. I think I think with this win, Arena Bulls put themselves in a, a pretty good spot to contest a potential playoff position. But now there's only a single defender here. That's Key trying to hold it back. He falls here. That's the beast that completely open now. Game agents, they've changed up the speed and catches Arena Bulls off guard. I think they picked up on the fact that Arena Bulls have been playing seriously heavy towards the A site. And they just get robbed. This, this round ends before it even begins. Wow. We mentioned there's a lot of saving on this map, and we're going to see that, Roy. 13 game engine, Serena Bulls. I get that up, though. On oh, damn, it's going to get another chance at life. And what do you think the move has to be for Arena Bulls? I wouldn't mind a mid control, Roy. Smoke down alt mid or molly down mid, smoke it, push alt. Some sort of aggression. I wouldn't mind. Oh, uh, there's a few things they definitely have not tried yet. They haven't really tried the triple lane setup yet. They haven't really tried any sort of setup in halls with actual weapons. And they. Stop doing what was really working, which was the counter banana control. I, they were doing a phenomenal job with that. I'm not sure why they stopped doing that from the from the beginning. Now it's game just looking to do the same thing again. More players headed towards banana early. The Maltovs keep him at bay. Oh, for the shot over the smoke. Now that smoke's going to give them passage. Cosmine looking on the entry once again. These players are scattering to find any sort of safe haven, but they find nothing. Now it's key to try to hold back against this offense. Gonna try. He is gone. Molly towards coffins. The bomb's gonna cross as soon as this Molly fades. Dam's holding for the jump up. And this might just be another save from Rena Bulls. It is. They're gonna give up 14, Roy. I mean, they're just getting run over now. I don't know what else. Game you just have to do, right? They just keep doing the normal stuff. They're able to just get the entry, clean entry frag, and they're not getting traded out. Arena Bulls, as you said, maybe go back to that B setup, but... I wonder what's got them so worried. I'm not entirely sure. I like, the, I like this call from Game Agents, though. You want to clean round on B the round before, and now you're looking to do the same thing again. <laughs> So close, but not quite. 14-14. Game is tied up. Game Agents have put themselves in, in a complete Uno reversal here. It, it was looking amazing for Arena Bulls at 14-10. They could not have been in any better of a situation. Now it's Game Agents who have that that win condition. They have a serious amount of cash in their pockets. No, can't break them until the end of the game. There's literally no way for them to break. It's going to be gun rounds from here on out. There's only two rounds left. And But if Arena Bulls lose this... They're going to have a broken buy in this next one. This one thing that we haven't seen yet is this double op setup with the utility. So that might be the difference maker here. Double ops on Inferno, Roy. We know how deadly those can be. That can be a banana peak with some support names. That could be a dry mid-peak. You do a number of things with these guns. Bishop's looking towards maybe halls. I'm a big fan of halls. Oppers, Roy. Always gives you the chance of hitting that nifty. I don't know if you remember that clip. Nifty 50? The, the nif nifty B hop to push T stairs with an op. Also, double op T side, a little less popular. A little, uh, makes me a little less happy. Yeah, we, we've actually seen teams lately not even run off on, a, on an entire T halves. It's 
so hard to be effective early. Post plant, you're golden, right? It's the most effective weapon to have on the T side in post plants. Now, rough monsters about to have an Very important. Finds one. Finds a second. Go for that third. Could not quite follow it up. Now it's Bishop to try to hold this one back, but there's no one home. There's no one on the A site. There's triple defenders on B, and they're pushing through, but it's only... It's going to be a long time before they get here, but it's a race to that site. Bomb's coming in through holes. It will be planted shortly, but still advantage here for Arena Bulls, and they have some utility left to, to do this. The only problem that I see, though, Keith, is that this double op setup might actually make this difficult. Shot and flip. And Palm gets one more. Arena Bulls might just lose this game yet, Roy. They need a retake. And they are getting cut down at the knees. The B players rotating the A. Cosmine with his second. Will he get the third? Key has to clear the box and he won't. Cosmine with three. Game engines are bringing this back and it's Arena Bulls just getting absolutely rocked. Wow, these rounds are crazy. Cosme, though, I said he was the player to look out for, and he's seriously hard hitting right now. 29 kills. You know what's crazy is that it doesn't feel like he's at 29 kills, but he's somehow at 29 kills. You know, early utility. Game agents put themselves in a seriously comfortable position. Op available for Arena Bulls, yes. Weapons available, yes. But that utility is going to be empty in the next 30 seconds. And there's no kit. And it's come down to so many retake scenarios that... It, I just can't see this ending well for Arena Bulls unless some proper risk or some proper advantage is found here early. Agreed. Oh, game in is getting the first pick and the second Roy. Good trade from Bishop, but he could only do so much. There's a lurk in Papkiel. Keep an eye on him. He's going to come through Arch very late because game agents understand that they took B very early. There's no chance of any early rotates. So they risk Papkiel coming all the way around Roy. One flash on the retake. No kit. This might be all she wrote, Roy. Yeah, this is all she wrote. There's literally no way to predict this. There it is. One and wow. done. And the game agent steal. At least that felt like a steal, right? 14-10 for Arena Bulls. You're thinking they're in, in a perfect situation to close this off. They have the money. They have the, the enemy team broken on, on just pistols. And suddenly, they just get swept. You're right, man. Oh, you're back to Ant-Man. <laughs> How about now? Hey, you're good. Seven rounds in a row. Seven Roy, in a row. From Game Agents. Seven in a row to end that. That is absolutely absurd. Well played to Game Agents. They had a fight for every round. They treated every round like mm -hmm. winnable. And uh, they managed their money. They managed their buys. And they just, I felt like they shouldn't have won that game. But they proved me wrong with that T-side. Yeah, that was that was so heartbreaking for Arena Bulls. Now, the good news is Game Agents, solid win for them. Congratulations. That was really well played. And thank you for the entertaining CS. But the bad news is Arena Bulls have another match against Big Omen Academy. And this one is gonna be this one is gonna be the make it or break it, I think, for their playoff contention. So if they can't find anything going right here, that will be extremely problematic for them in their future in Winners League for now at least. So we are gonna cut to a short actually, I think we're yeah, they're doing yeah, vetoes we're, i think yeah we're vetoing right now so a few more minutes i don't assume it'll be much much longer and as soon as we're ready to go the action will begin so stay tuned enjoy the music for about a few more minutes and uh the final match is coming up shortly <laughs> 